carnal Corinthians. You know, you sometimes hear preachers ridiculing the Corinthian church in a very demeaning manner and ridiculing them as carnal. But why? Look at what Paul said concerning the Corinthian church. He said, I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given to you by Jesus Christ, that in everything you are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you so that you come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall also confirm you to the end that you may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now that can be found in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 4 through 9. So let's look closely at what Paul said concerning them. Number one, the grace of God was given to them. Number two, they were enriched by God in everything. Number three, Christ's testimony was confirmed in them. Number four, they didn't lack any spiritual gift. Number five, they were expectantly waiting for Christ's return. Number six, they were assured Christ would confirm them to the very end. Number seven, they would be blameless at his return. Eight, God faithfully put his calling on them to partake in Christ's fellowship. <clears throat> Yes, they had their problems, as do all churches. But Paul said the Holy Spirit was indwelling them as his temple and that their bodies were the members of Christ. And that's 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 15 and 19. So whenever you hear any preacher castigating the Corinthian church as being carnal, just ask him if the congregation he's in is enriched by God in everything. And if Christ's testimony is confirmed among them with all the spiritual gifts in operation. You know, it's like the old adage of the pot calling the kettle black. I've heard some even making fun of miracle and healing ministries as being fake, yet they themselves don't have the real in their own church. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you.